Good morning. When I was invited to give a title for this reflection, almost immediately the title came into my mind. A medicine for all our ills. I'm not the only one, of course, who at this present moment is crucially aware of so many ills throughout our world. Conflicts in the Sudan, Ethiopia, Eritrea, the Ukraine, Gaza, Israel. So many conflicts. But then those big news items overshadow perhaps the domestic conflicts that all of us experience, the inner conflict within our own lives. The Fathers of the Desert had a marvellous word to describe that inner conflict. They called it the logismoi, these poisonous thoughts that somehow infiltrate and affect the way we relate. Sickness is present, not just physical, but emotional and spiritual. So what is the medicine for all our ills. Years ago now, I read a book by Blessed Columba Marmion, Christ in His Mysteries. It was a book published in 1939, but it was a book that deeply influenced me at that time, and I, I go back to it from time to time. And one of the phrases, so simple, that caught my imagination and really has sunk deep roots within me is that Columba Marmion said, the mysteries of Christ are our mysteries. So often we think of those mysteries as external to ourselves, just about the life of Jesus. But from our Benedictine point of view, the whole of the liturgy that we celebrate each and every day the psalms that we pray, the word of God that we listen to. This is the moment through which the mysteries of Christ can enter into our life and indeed transform and heal those logismoi that the fathers of the desert spoke of. These mysteries naturally came also into my mind as here we are in this month of October, the month of the Rosary. For some, perhaps, the Rosary might not be easily identifiable as a part of Benedictine spirituality. But yet, if you really went further back into the history and development of that form of prayer, then you find its roots in the monastic life. In fact, I would like to suggest you'll find those roots in the Desert Fathers. Those fathers who chose to have a phrase that they would keep in their mind and pray constantly. In order to help them, they had stones in order to regulate how many times. Those stones came eventually to be a woolen prayer rope, still present in Orthodox monasticism and spirituality today, a comboskina. Many in the medieval world who wanted to emulate the monks who prayed 150 psalms had what they called the paternoster, psalter. In fact, a remnant of that is that street just near St. Paul's Cathedral in London, paternoster row, where these beads were actually produced 150 times praying the, the Our Father that developed into the Marian Psalter. And then thanks to a Carthusian monk, this transformed into the Life of Christ Rosary, where those 150 Hail Marys were divided so that we reflected upon a mystery of Christ. Just as the Comboschina the Jesus Prayer in Orthodox spirituality 
is a prayer of the heart, so too is the rosary. Those mysteries are not something we simply avert to each and every time we pray a mystery of Christ's life, we are releasing that mystery into our own lives, allowing that mystery to transform, to challenge, and to bring us to a closer unity with that image of Christ that we're asked to bear. Popes, saints, of all found value in praying the mystery of Christ. All our prayer is rooted in one single prayer, that prayer of Jesus, that life of Jesus. The servant of God, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, on one occasion said, the rosary is the book of the blind where souls see and there enact the greatest drama of love the world has ever known. In reality, to pray the mysteries of Christ, to pray the rosary, is Lexio Divina on beads. We carry those beads around with us, and as we do, we carry the mystery of Christ himself, a mystery that each and every day, each moment of each day, we're asked to come close to. So not only in this month of October, but perhaps throughout your Christian life, take once again that simple prayer given to us to allow the mystery of Christ to feed and nourish the choices that you will make. Again, it was Fulton Sheen who said, anyone who prays the rosary will either give up out of boredom or they will become a saint. I know which one I want to become. And through Christ we can. So let me give you that blessing of Christ, whose mysteries are our mysteries. May the holy angels guard and protect you. May Our Lady and all the saints prayerfully walk with you. And may Almighty God now pour down his great blessing of peace upon you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.